We will be looking at analog devices business and some of the numbers, and then see too if the stock is worth owning in current market. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Analog devices closed at $170.60, with the increase of 1.28% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is bullish. Technical indication is in uptrend. And overall daily trend for the stock is in very positive trend. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is in very positive trend. Today's market fear in greed index is 69, which is indicating greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Analog devices gave 4.76% returns in the last week, 4.30% in the last 30 days, and 3 months returns are 20.87%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future? 5-day average is 168 with a bullish indication. 10-day is 167 with a bullish indication. 20-day average is 166, which is a bullish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In June 22, the revenue was $3110 million. In the recent quarter, September 22, it increased to $3248 million. Now let's see the profitability of analog devices. In the quarter June 22, the profits were $749 million. And in the recent quarter, September 22, the profits increased to $936 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 0.17. Then it was the same in the next quarter. In the next quarter, it was again the same. In the recent quarter, the debt score increased to 0.18. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for the stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.